Craig Herc, the rumor mill linking Hamas to Major League Soccer continues to spin. A couple weeks ago, it was Inter-Miami. Now it's the LA Galaxy. Craig, I'm going to come to you first on this one. Hamas is 28 years old. He's in his prime. He's got clubs like Arsenal, Manchester United, supposedly in the running for him. If a player with those options at that age chooses to go to the LA Galaxy in Major League Soccer, what would you think of him? I think it's more about, I, I would think he's looking for, well, and, and listen, he's had a, an excellent career and he's been in World Cups and he's been at big clubs and he's had success. But as you said, that's, that's prime. That's prime time, 28. And if, if he does, then it could be about the money. But also, it would say to me, he's looking to wind down a little bit uh, and he's looking maybe for lifestyle over over the stresses and the, the pressure of playing for a Bayern Munich and a Real Madrid. And, and so kind of, that can be understandable. Now, there are, surprisingly, there are some people out there who say, ah, he's thrown it in, ah, oh, he's chucked it. And I used to think that myself, but, you know, I, I, sometimes there's more to it than that now. And I, and I look sometimes and I think, do you know, sometimes there's more to it than just throwing the towel in. Because maybe having a nice life in Miami earning loads of money and having a little less stress. We, how should we, how can we criticise somebody for wanting that over a career, potentially? And maybe that's where he is in his life. I don't know. Herc, what do you say? I understand what Craig is saying about it being a personal choice. Now, let's just really quickly assume this happens. At 28 years old, if James Rodriguez goes from Europe to Major League Soccer, he will be the best player to come to Major League Soccer in their prime in its history. He's a very talented player. He could easily play in any team in the world. I don't know why at 28 years old, he thinks the LA Galaxy or elsewhere within Major League Soccer is the place where he needs to be. I maybe still see more enough, of Maybe he's had enough of the pressure here. Maybe, maybe he's fed up with, you know, every, everyone's built differently, as you know. Yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's fed up with going from club to club and going on loan and coming off the bench. And maybe he thinks, do you know what? I'm going to, I want to enjoy uh, my lifestyle. I want to play in a good league and be paid well. And I want to stand out. And I no, want to absolutely. Be, and, yeah. and I see what you're saying, Craig. But I'm trying to compare it to things we've seen in Major League Soccer. And the direct comparison is Sebastian Jovinko, who comes at a very good age, but not the resume that James Rodriguez had. Most people down, down here in the States... Did, couldn't identify Sebastian Jovinko unless they were diehard Juventus fans or Italian national team fans. That's a reality. James Rodriguez coming here would change the landscape for Major League Soccer going forward because now you can attract this player in their prime and you're competing against the likes of Manchester United and Arsenal. You're competing against the likes of Bayern Munich. You're competing against the likes of the Real Madrids. This is big news. And I understand what you're saying because every choice is personal and I respect that. But if you look at your career as a footballer and you've been here, Craig, when you look back at it, they're always the, what could I have done better? What, what would have I have wished I could have done? And I don't know if he'll regret coming to major league soccer at 28. Now, if he does it. Herc, MLS has a reputation in some places as a retirement league. It's something that the league is actively trying to shed. Do you think Hamas at 28 leaving Madrid to come to MLS would make MLS more of a retirement league or would prove that it's not a retirement league? I don't know how it could. I, we just sat here and told you he's at the prime of his career and he's, and, and there are teams like Manchester And like United. Chicharito who cried about retiring when he came back here, yeah. Hamas would be pseudo retiring. Pseudo retiring. He's 28 years old. How many more years do you think he has? I think he's got, yeah, but he's a taken a step tried. down from his prime, right? We're acknowledging that. Yeah, well, he's taking a te well, I'm sorry. He's taking a step down from level, not from his prime. You don't take a step down from your prime because you go and play somewhere else. You take a step down at level because you go play somewhere else. I think it's Major League Soccer has already done a very good job over the last three years of trying to shed that retirement league image. And James Rodriguez coming would be another step, if not another nail in that retirement league coffin. He's in the prime of his career right now. He's easily got another seven years to go at the way and style that he can play. Herc, how not, do you rate Hamas? He's a tough one to rate, right? We don't see him enough at club level. Well, you can maybe look at him sometimes and say, you know, sometimes he can be a little lazy. You know, if he's not getting enough game time, does he keep himself fit enough? We can't. I don't 
I think you can really question the talent. Uh, and he's proven that on the biggest of all stages, the World Cup, when he scores uh, one of the great goals of, of the, the 2014 World Cup, I believe it was, for Colombia. Uh, you know, Major League Soccer does lots of things that you can bash your head on the wall. I mean, it tries to control the narrative around what people are talking about, and I don't agree with that. And there's all these little things you can pick up. But I, I, certainly, I certainly don't think Major League Soccer is a retirement league. I think it was in that sense many a year ago. But I think it's gone beyond that now, in all fairness to them. Now, can we criticise them for, you know, loading teams with attacking players and not concentrating on the goalkeeper and the defensive side of it? Absolutely. But there's lots of things Major League Soccer have done well. The players that are coming are tending to be younger. The stadiums around the country are some of the best in the world. The fan base and the experience around the games is excellent. The crowds are getting bigger. And in some sense, the standard is, you could say, getting better. The worrying side of that is, I think, from the American perspective, is the standard's getting better because there's more and more foreign players coming in from all around the world. And it's not necessarily the American player that's making it better. That being said, it's a personal choice for a James Rodriguez, whether he comes or not. I think most players worth of salt with a choice of some of the biggest clubs in Europe would stay in Europe. But as I say, we can't read the player's mind. If he's at a juncture, he wants to come, take the money, have a little bit of an easier life, get some adulation. Who's going to knock him for that? That's, that, that's his choice. I, I, that's up to him what he wants to do. What I do know, would be a great signing, uh, both on and off the field, for either of those clubs. Hey, Herc, uh, Zlatan accused you of being an LAFC fan. I know, for one, you love <laughs> Carlos Vela. Uh, would James be the uh, sorry, would James be the best player in MLS? Wow, that's a great question. Certainly, in the running for most talented, best player, I think you got to take that mantle from Carlos Vela. You can say what you want about Carlos Vela and his decisions to play in Major League Soccer, but you can't deny the season that he just had. 34 goals, 15 assists. We've never seen that in this league's history. And there have been very good players, regardless of where they've come in their careers to Major League Soccer, who haven't come close to those numbers. It's still Carlos Vela until somebody else proves otherwise. Wow. Yeah, you're absolutely Burley, you're, you're you up, agree. Come on, come on. Well, you're gonna put you're gonna put Hamas behind Vela, Burley. Well, I'm gonna point something out to you into that little brain of yours. <laughs> you could you could argue, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dripping out. You can you can argue, you know, that one of the greatest players ever to grace Major League Soccer before he came here uh, was Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard could have played at the peak of his career for any team in the world. They were all after him. Barca, Real Madrid, you name it. But we didn't see, for whatever reason, the real Steven Gerrard when he came here. We didn't see those performances. And I think there was a frustration with what was around him. Hmm. And he talked about the travelling. He talked about all these other things. But arguably, Steven Gerrard's one of the, the, one of the greatest signings for Major League Soccer. We just didn't see that here. So there's no guarantee... To Herc's point, until somebody comes and does it, Carlos Vela is the man with the numbers at the moment. So it's been proven before that some of the greatest players have come in and for whatever reason, might be injury, maybe frustration, or maybe they're just getting a little bit too old. We've not seen the best of them. And I think Steven Gerrard and maybe even Frank Lampard is a case in point. And you know what, Craig? If you want to go one step further probably arguably the best Premier League player ever in Thierry Henry, had very yeah. good numbers in Major League Soccer and came nowhere yeah. near Carlos Vela's production. Yeah. All right, there you have it. I can argue with one of you, but not both of you. Hamas, not as good as Vela. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.